All right, gang, welcome to a new computer animation tutorial. And what we're going to get into today is creating a rain cloud animation with the Wick editor. And so we'll go through some steps to kind of creating a clip where there's a rain droplet that is kind of multiplied and copied and pasted, and then uh, moving with a tween. And so you'll see in here, I only have really two layers one with kind of the cloud and the ground, so they're in the front, and then the rain kind of looking like it's coming from. Uh, behind the cloud and you can see here it's a clip and so if I double click on this graphic you can see that uh, it's just the raindrops and that they just kind of move across the stage with a couple of tweens there. Um, so you may do multiple layers um, and I might do a little bit of editing to the size and shape of these uh, rain droplets as this example was a bit of a quick one. So let's go ahead and click on new here to get started with the new project here on Wick Editor. And I'll always kind of first click on the gear in the corner and we can name our animation um, and also adjust the background color. So let's give this kind of a dark, maybe dark bluish gray kind of rainy background sort of color and hit apply. And now we'll go ahead and draw our rain droplets. And so I'm going to put this rain on this layer here. And so I'll also name this first layer rain. And then on this first frame here, we'll get started by drawing our first paint droplet or a rain droplet rather. Um, so we'll take our paintbrush and we'll choose fill color of kind of a light bluish color. Maybe I'll actually make it more like a whitish grayish blue color something that will stand out pretty good on this uh, background color. Once I put down a spot there, I'm going to take my path cursor and just go right over one of the edges of my path or my um, brush there and just try to stretch it into a rain droplet. This is getting a little funny. So maybe I'll have to try and zoom in just a little bit. Take my zoom tool, do a little zoom in. Once we get this first rain droplet in the right position here, we can kind of move on and we won't need to um, do it at, at much more times. So I just kind of stretched it out there a little bit and then pulled on that angle just a little bit there. So, so that we get a kind of a drip raindrop type shape. And maybe I'll bring that in just a little bit and I could kind of click on the whole shape and make it just a little bit smaller. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's try and zoom back out here. All right, and I'll use my pan tool to kind of pan back over here. All right, so like I said, we're gonna take this raindrop here and just copy and paste, and then just paste again. And then we'll just kind of keep doing that and spread these out kind of randomly. So I'm just gonna hit Command V to paste again. Um, and then try to take this droplet here, click and drag it out, V to paste again. Uh, clicking off on the side, so Command V to paste, clicking off on the side so I can just click on the droplet and move it uh, seems to be working out pretty well. Otherwise, it's really tough because you're kind of almost grabbing it. And what I'm going to do here is just fill kind of like a corner, like a quarter of uh, my stage here. And then what I'll do is um, copy this corner or this cluster group of this corner and uh, paste it into the other three corners. So just pasting, clicking off the side, adding another drop. And you kind of want to stagger them and not put them all like right on top of each other or in a perfect line or anything like that. And again, I've just I've already copied this droplet. Each time I'm just clicking Command V or holding Command and pressing V on my keyboard to paste, and that when it's pasting, it's pasting a brand new drop right over the top of the one that I initially copied. So um, in case you didn't follow along for that part. So this is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll just do Command V, um, paste one or two more. One last one here. Maybe I'll move it up towards the side, even off the edge. All right, so that looks pretty good for a spray rain of rain. Um, I'm going to take this group, like I said, click drag with my cursor tool. Now I'm going to go Command C and Command V for the whole thing. Make sure when you click to drag this that you actually click on one of your new drops. So you could see that little light blue line around it. So I'm going to click on that and drag it down to here. 
to kind of make this um, rain kind of fill up more of the scene here, right? So I'm going to go Command V again, um, and then click and drag to bring this cluster over to this corner, and then Command V one more time, and click to drag and bring this cluster down onto this side. Again, just kind of spreading them out just a little bit, kind of randomly, um, trying not to keep them all in, you know, perfect line order or anything like that. Um, next, what I'll want to do is actually select all of these raindrops, and I'll want to make this into a clip, okay? Um, what we'll want to do is really just have this one frame of animation here. We can expand this frame to be as long as we want. Um, and the clip will just play inside of this clip here. So I'm going to double click on the clip now and zoom out just a little bit. I'll want to expand this frame to six frames. And we are going to uh, copy this whole group here actually. So let's click this whole group here. We're going to go Command C and Command V to paste a whole other group in here. And again, make sure you click and drag on one of the new groups, and I want to move it just onto the top of this group here. So what's going to happen is this whole group is going to slide off, and then this group slides in to take its place. So now that I have this whole these double groups here, I'm going to add a tween, and I'm going to go to the end point here, add another tween diamond here, and I'll just click and drag this whole piece down so that it's lined up right with where the other one started. Okay, so now when I go back to my project here, I can see that this moves right across like that. When I go back to my project and I hit play, you could see you have the raindrops kind of falling and sprinkling throughout. Okay, so if I zoom back a little bit here, you can see again, it's this is moving off and down and then the other ones are moving onto the stage right behind it. All right, so really all I want to do now is think about what else am I going to add to this animation. You can add any number of things. Um, you know, the rain should stay on its own layer. Uh, for the cloud that I drew in my other animation, added a new layer. Uh, we'll call this one cloud. Um, you could also add another layer for the uh, kind of the, the background and the ground if you want to add a background layer. Um, but to draw this cloud shape, Really all I did was took my ellipse tool, um, turned the uh, outline to zero, so there's no outline on my uh, cloud shape here, and took like a gray, actually probably wanted like a darker gray kind of color, and then just kind of drew a series of kind of like overlapping ovals that kind of created a cloud shape along the top of my scene here. And so just kind of going along, you know, maybe make some smaller ones, some bigger ones. And just kind of making a cloud that goes across the top of my scene. So then when I hit play, um, oh, I forgot to expand that frame to be the full length of my animation. Um, it looks like I have kind of the rain coming out from underneath the cloud. And when you export uh, your animation as a GIF, um, you won't be able to see anything above the top there. So um, always make sure you save your WIC files and then uh, also export and choose export GIF when you have uh, finished your animation and figured out what your April showers will bring. All right, hope you guys have luck with creating this animation and have some fun getting creative with your own projects.